So in this part, which is part 8, we're going to work on creating the hover effect that when we hover over a specific legend item, the donut slice will offset or basically jump out a bit. So how do we do this? Well, we're going to scroll down and we're going to use the same logic as what we did on our on click, except in this case, we're going to say here now will be a hover effect or what you can say here, a on mouse I guess the mouse move effect would be probably the most logical one. So anyway, we're going to say li and then on mouse move. If we move the mouse in that case, we're going to say here the following. We're going to say constant type. Again, we want to double check. We can even, uh, I'll just copy big chunks of this. If the type is a pie or a donut, we'll do something specific. Well, of course, in this case, we don't use this logic. And I don't think we even need this one here. So what I'm going to do here is we want to check if it's active. And for that, we have a very nice item. Now well, let's see, show you here another built-in chart. Yes, function. Console log. Then we're going to say chart dot, and it's going to say set active elements, and then we can say here which element we want to set active, and then this is basically like an object or an object in an array. So we're going to say here curly braces, and then we can say here the data set index will be zero because we only have one data set here i'm not expecting any other data set and then the index number i'll just make this zero for now if i do this and as you can see here automatically this becomes active even though i didn't do anything so that's very interesting as you can see all right so this is the way to do it so all i need to do now is in this here what is the one i want active so I'm going to grab all of this chunk of code, except for this and the console log here. Let's put this, let's cut that, put it in here on the mouse move, put that in there, proper indentation. And then we're going to say here, instead of this index number, I'm going to grab here the index number that we can find here, item.index. I'm just going to grab that. I'll put that in here. There we are. So if I do this and if I do that, there we are. And there. All right. So as I move here and go back, interesting here, we're getting some something that's not working. So we have to look here. What is the else state? So if I'm away or I'm not hovering on any of these, what I want to do is I want to set again the elements active, but now I'm going to make a blank array if I do here all right is it working I have a feeling it doesn't really work or it's kind of buggy so let's see what's going on here do we see anything here it does something so we have to double check here we have that part here so oh, of course my bad what is going on here I need to make sure it's updating right now I only update the click. So if I don't update, it will be buggy, as you can see here, because it's trying to reload and use this structure here. That's not a lot. I want to make sure that this is updated. So now it should be more faster. But as you can see here, it's a little bit of, uh, you can see it, it's, it's hampering a little bit. But luckily, we can still do something with that. So what I want to do here is we have this case here and I want to make sure with an if statement that if we're not, uh, if it is clicked on, as you can see what I did here, when I click on this and then I do these movements, it should not trigger those movements anymore because it's being hidden. So let's start to work on that. So what we're going to do now is to make sure here uh, not on click on the mouse move, a very simple if statement. And what I want to do is basically this. 
is the data hidden or not? So I'm going to say here, if the chart get data visibility item dot index, we get the index number, and if it is hidden set on true, in that case, um, if it's set on true, uh, we should not even have this, or if this get data, well, let's double check here, I think. We should have that maybe then not on true but on false. So if it is hidden, if hidden true or let's see here, what is this get data visibility? I'm sorry, I'm getting slightly confused here. So let's look at what that does. Oh, it's true. As you can see here, all right. So if it's visible, it's true. If it's not visible. It is set on false. All right, so that is correct. So that would mean now, if it is true, then the mouse move functionality. So so basically, if chart just shows the data, the mouse move function will work. If it's not showing that specific data, it will not work. So if you can see here, it probably goes slightly more better. Although I'm not seeing that much improvement, but I'll accept it. So that looks still quite decent, but there we are. So we have this there, although this here is far more fluent, but if I go here, you do see here a form of movement of every slice. And I guess that is basically what we want to do here. Anyway, it was a quite tricky one, even for me, but we have it now working. That's basically it.